Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today from the Fitchburg Senior Center, it's Jill McCone, Director, Chief, and so much more. Jill, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm from my kitchen, too. I tried to clean off my counter a little, but um, yeah. That's Pretty a really nice uh, paint job that you got going on there. Looks uh, looks nice. Why, thank you. Good color balance. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll try to cheer you up. Uh, but we've got a uh, a lot to get to today. Uh, as uh, we turn the page, we were kind of joking, you know, getting out of 2020, going into 21. <laughs> Even though we made it, it still feels kind of tough. But I love how the newsletter uh, leads into this, and that's uh, good riddance. The 2020 <laughs> goodbye. I I bet you guys laughed when you were putting this together. Well, you know, that was that is my article and I had to I had to look it up just to make sure like it didn't have some underlying really, really different meaning like, you know, but that's <laughs> exactly. It. I exactly. guess that was my mood when I, I wrote it. And um, yeah. So anyway. No, trying to I, keep the hope. Right. Yeah. Um, we we talked, it feels like we just talked yesterday. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, as you go look back to 2020 and move into 2021, what are uh, some of the goals, if you wouldn't mind uh, talking just quickly, uh, goals moving into 2021 uh, that you and your staff will be working on? Yeah. Um, you know, I was... <laughs> I, I'm trying to be optimistic. I don't know. I was hoping um, that we would be, you know, we, we've talked about opening our doors in, in April. We're like, okay, that's, we'll get through this first quarter. Numbers will be down, vaccines will be out. And then um, there was someone that brought up the fact that, oh, there's that other strain and um, they won't have that many vaccinations out by then. So then they pulled me back down into the doggy dumpers is what I call it at home. Um, so anyway, you know, we keep doing Zooms. Um, we keep trying to connect with people just, you know, via phone calls and emails. And, um, you know, we get a lot of walk-ins. Um, people still can make an appointment to see a social worker or, um, you know, talk to a staff person. Um, so I guess, you know, I can't say our goals are a lot different than just trying to keep these connections that we have with people going um, with hopes that we will open our doors um, soon. Right. Absolutely. And um, when, when that time comes, I know you guys will be very excited. And, uh, and so, uh, so will all of the uh, visitors that uh, come in day in and day out at the senior center. And it may be right. slow, but uh, right. hey, we're gonna, we're gonna go there. Uh, mm -hmm. To start off on a positive note, too. Uh, I love that you got Mary Helen uh, right. back here, uh, kicking things off. Uh, talk a little bit about the joy of the grateful heart. Yeah, so, you know, Mary Helen was part of the retiree rebels and we've had them numerous times and I know you've done projects with them. Um, and she's such a great motivational speaker. So I I was thinking last month, who's somebody that could maybe bring some joy? Um, maybe it's really just for me, maybe. <laughs> um, but I know that a lot of people uh, follow Mary Helen. Um, and so we're hoping that that will help kick off the new year and, and Focus on being grateful, which, you know, is a good reminder. Um, the sun's out today and the snow's beautiful. And, you know, um, so anyway, so people can, you know, call Susie or email Susie to get the Zoom link and uh, hoping they'll enjoy that and bring some joy and just kind of remind us, you know, every day there's something to be grateful for. So. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, a, another uh, famous uh, event coming up in a total uh, a 360 here is uh, the AARP uh, tax help. Oh, uh, goodness. Maybe the, I don't know if I could go on record and say maybe be the uh, the, t <laughs> the most uh, booked up, frequent booked up, uh, better get in line type of uh, uh, program. I know. And certainly we're, it is being the most um, phone calls that we're getting about that. And you know, we're ready to kick it off. We're just waiting for AARP to figure out how they can do this as safely as possible. You know, we, it used to be meeting one-on-one, -on -one, obviously, and now it's looking at, you know, drop your forms off, pick your forms up. Um, so we're trying to figure out a way to make it most convenient, particularly for those that don't have access to transportation. We don't want them to have to find transportation three different times to come in. Um, and so there's there's a lot of logistics that AARP is juggling, um, but they know we are willing and ready to help set up a safe um, environment for them to offer this tax assistance. So hopefully we'll know in a couple of weeks um, whether we're able to offer this or not. 
Yeah, it's a, a great program. Uh, right. And uh, I, every year that, that I've done the show, I have to laugh because I just know how fast that uh, that it does fill up, like you said, and yeah. uh, very, uh, very helpful program. So hopefully things will uh, you'll get it figured out and, uh, and people can be helped. Another way that uh, you're helping uh, is working with the Edgewood School of Nursing. Uh, right. Maybe one of my favorite programs uh, in recent years that's come out of the Senior Center. Tell us uh, what, what do you got going with the partnership? Well, the partnership, we are working with the Edgewood uh, nursing students who we did last semester too, and they work uh, close with Amy and Sarah, the social workers, and connect them with clients that just need a little extra support, especially right now. Um, initially, the, the intent of that program was to accompany folks to their doctor's appointments and help be good advocates for them. Um, now it's a little more televisits, um, over the phone conversations. Um, and then we are expanding that. We're adding a few, we're adding some master nursing students um, next semester. And so we'll have um, more opportunity for people if they need that extra support, we have more students available. And then we're gonna do that by appointment only health fair. Um, I've got a lot of information today from their instructor and it looks really cool. Um, you know, it will be a face-to-face -to, -face to run some of those tests, you know, the glucose test and um, blood pressure and stuff, but I, I feel that we can do it really safely. Um, the instructor feels real comfortable too by providing all the necessary equipment. So hoping to roll that out actually more than once next semester. Um, and then on top of that, working with the School of Public Health and Medicine, and we, we've got two second year med students and a third year med student that are gonna roll out um, a presentation, a healthy series, um, what did we call it? Be happy, be healthy or something? Yep, yep. Um, yeah, so we just met yesterday with the students and so um, we'll be determining those topics and then they'll be offering um, a weekly presentation starting in February. So excited about that. Yeah, I I am too. I think it's a great opportunity. We've heard a lot about people being afraid to go in or, or do those regular doctor's appointments, uh, regular right. health visits, and this is mm -hmm. a great alternative uh, to still keep up on uh, health and uh, so so important <laughs> right. uh, even uh, even before COVID ever uh, showed up right. at our doorstep. Uh, finally, the Fitchburg Senior Center Caregiver Support Group, uh, twenty years strong. That Isn't that something that is uh, yeah that caught me off guard. Uh, tell me uh, what is the group? What are they? do so you know yeah it caught me off guard too I couldn't I couldn't believe it but Debbie Trexel and Jean Moran have been our volunteer um, support group leaders um, for 20 years and um, you know they, just like they did when in person now they they virtually they get together and it's really it's just a group of people with you know sharing their ideas their their successes, maybe some of their frustrations um, and just giving each other tools how to how to handle different situations when you're dealing with um, taking care of a, a loved one. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really that, it's a support group. It's, it's a nice network. Um, we see new faces come on board. And um, again, uh, you know, a big thanks to Debbie and Jean for, for managing and facilitating this group um, before and now even more so during COVID. So um, we're pretty lucky to have them. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, congratulations to them in 20 years. Yeah. That's uh, very impressive. And, and to me, it shows the, the, how important that group uh, really is. And right. uh, you know, tying it all back into <laughs> to everything uh, today, mm -hmm. uh, just having that uh, interaction uh, with people is so, so important. So yeah, uh, Jill, sure. um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, welcome back for another year, 2021. <laughs> uh, it started. Uh, it, it can only go for, for up, right? Right. That, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, yes, it's the beginning of the year and <laughs> <laughs> winter's a little gloomy, but you're right. We just came out of the seven days of uh, no, uh, no, no sun. No fun. So you're right. Uh, better days to come. But better hey, days to come. We, what we do know is uh, you have a great staff down there. Uh, yeah. And when, uh, when the doors open, they'll be uh, ready for you and uh, ready to come in and high yeah. five or do whatever they can do a little fist what, bump whatever elbow whatever bump. yeah <laughs> you're yeah, ready whatever. for it yeah all right jill well thank you so much for your time i'm glad to thank have you. you here and uh we'll uh we'll see you uh see you soon sounds good thanks you bet jill mccone uh, from uh fitchburg senior center uh yeah better days to come and uh we're glad uh her and her team are here and ready uh ready to help you out here in 2021 take a quick break more to come you're watching talking fitchburg